In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent, may mercy, peace and blessings of Almighty Allah be upon all of you. Welcome you all in this our lecture series program. We are going to talk about substance and form in linguistics. This topic is from the content, some fundamental distinctions or dichotomies in linguistics from the subject and introduction to linguistics semester one. This topic is very important for the students of MA English and BS English. Um, moreover, this is very crucial topic for the aspirants of lectureship in English. So let's learn about today's topic and it is substance and form in linguistics. So it is here you see substance and form. The actual sounds and graphic symbols are substance of language. When they are arranged in order, they attain form. You see in this picture, these sounds and graphic symbols are the substance of language. But here you could see when they are arranged in order, they attain form like bat, nation, drum means sounds and we arrange these chunks into complete language and out of letters we arrange some of the words. Again, you see, when we are talking about substance, all distinct sounds and written scripts are the substance of language. It is meaningless, only noisy. It means all the sounds, the basic sounds in language like b, p, t, th, sh. So these are only the sounds, are noises. But when they make into form, they become meaningful like in this way when sounds letters words are arranged in a certain way we can see some meanings in them it becomes form of a language so when these sounds are been arranged into form into words into complete phonemes so these would have been the meaningful chunks you see it is just like a shapeless log of wood the carpenter make a chair table out of it when there is just a log of wood this is meaningless but when we make out of this wood a chair a table so it would be meaningful he changes substance into form you see when the uh, carpenter he makes the wood into table and chair so it would have been meaningful and it would have been a form Likewise, in this picture, you see, so this is actually language quality when we are talking about. This is totally meaningless and this is meaningful. How these letters are changed into words and the phones are changed into phonemes, into meaningful chunks. So this is the difference between substance and form. Again, when we are talking about substance and form, in formal linguistics, form and substance usually refer to the actual elements or units of language like atoms and molecules in chemistry, like proton and electron in physics. So, in the case of phonology, it is phonemes. In morphology, it is morphemes. In syntax, it is constituents of sentence, of course. So, you see, it would have been like this. You see substances. These individual sounds, it means s, t, r, uh, n. So these are individual substances. Likewise, these sounds and these. But when we make them into order, like we make these sounds into complete order, so it would have been istrion. Like this tenth, like this into clean. So this would have been a form, an arranged form of or out of this substance. You see, these are two pictures. There are bricks, individual bricks. These make a substance for a wall. Now, here it is wall. These bricks are arranged into, into form. So, this is a complete form of language. Thanks for attention. Hopefully this would have been a very helpful for all of you. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच असलकम